Hi guys, it's Michelle here. I just want to share today a little paper fold dress that I made. I shared this on Instagram and a lovely lady called, I believe, Princess Ladybug asked me how I made it. So this is for you. Um, I make it very easily. And what I have done with it is uh, make it into a card. So the paper that I've used here is all from my mind's eye, the sweetest thing. Uh, this is from the dot the circle, oh, what is it called? The spots? It's another My Mind's Eye paper. Oh, it's Antique Dots, that paper. And I've just put it onto a little canvas so it just makes a nice, easy present to give away. Um, and then the other thing I just did just two seconds ago was to make this one, just to see how that would come out. So this one is made with a 6x6 piece of paper. This one here that's on that canvas is made with a 12x12. Gives you that size and then this one is made with an A4 piece of paper out of the printer so I have made it so I get a full length dress I thought that would be really sweet for a bridal shower or something like that some wedding kind of thing if you wanted some decoration so you could titivate that with pretty paper and lace and buttons and all sorts of things so just thought I'd throw that little idea out there um, but we're going to make, I'm going to make it today out of a piece of 12 by 12 because it's nice and simple, I think, and hope for you guys to see it. So this is single-sided paper. You can, of course, use double-sided paper. Hopefully that is going to show up. Or is it not? Let me get another piece. That might be just too... We want a bit more contrast. There we go. So, well, the first fold is going to be in half. Like so. And then we are, uh, once we fold it in half, we're going to fold it into quarters. This is the type of thing that once you know how to make it, it's really simple. And... <laughs> <laughs> telling you how to make it is probably harder than actually making it. So what we've got now is that half and quarters. Super simple. So I'll show you this way. The next fold is I'm going to take this quarter point and bring it over here to the halfway point. So let me just share that. So I'm trying to watch the piece of paper and watch the camera so I stay in focus. So if I seem a bit doolally, that is why. Okay, so now we've got that, which seems a little odd until you flatten that out and we've got that. So that then is, let me find one I've made earlier. You see the actual dress that's what we're, lo we're looking at now is this midpoint here so it is that simple to get started so now we're going to uh, create the bodice and the skirt um mm, proportions i don't i sort of do about maybe about there let's see what i've done that's about two inches there and then I'm going to just fold this back. So I'm going to take a, a pinch and fold that. So that's going to look like that, which is then the bodice and the skirt. So as you make them, <coughs> excuse me, as you make them, you will decide, you know, what appeals to you in terms of that proportion. So then we're going to just make the skirt slightly more interesting. Pull this out to the side a little bit. Over there. And over there. Now this part, I don't completely flatten the skirt now. I will just kind of slightly push them into place. Um, because I quite like that texture on the projects that I'm using it for. I want that that texture that's going to give me that height there if you're posting it or something and you want it flat just now completely flatten it flatten out your folds that will not make any difference to this whatsoever 
So the next thing we're going to do is create a little, it's going to look almost like a collar. So where our quarter point is, our point is there, that's where we're going to start our fold from and we're going to create a little triangle. So that's where it's coming from, like so. Again, just there, straight down. So it's going to look like that. Once we've done that, give it a good burnish and then just pop them back up and flip the paper over. Now we're going to pull that down, pull it down and flatten. And that is going to give us, let's flatten all those folds, we flip back over again, a v-neck. Okay, so there's our v-neck. So once we're here, we're going to fold this piece here over. Just following that line there, hoping that you can see, there's the line of the underneath. We're going to follow it and fold it to that. So bring it back to where it sort of naturally goes, really. And that's going to come there. Now the skirt, I'm leaving that sticking up in a very weird way, and you're thinking, what on earth is happening now? Um, I'm going to just slightly soften it, and I do it so that it's again got a bit of height to it so I'm not going to squish it completely flat all I want to do is just to create a fold here that gives me the line of my skirt so let me just do that again so you might see what I mean so it's sort of naturally going to go there and that's where I just let it happen um, again if you want this super flat get your bone score out and really flatten that I don't worry about that too much when I then attach it onto the card through here I just put a little bit of tape so that will just hold that down there and we come back and we've got that look there which you're going to think it's a bit odd but the next step is just as simple from our point here and our point here we're going to create another fold so just let those those two happen. We do want them to be quite a tight point and it looks like I've gone a bit astray. Let me just try and... Never mind. Which does you... The sleeves. So you can see my folding's not brilliant there so I'll just <laughs> chuck that one away and show you one one I prepared earlier. So if you're folding it properly, like I had not quite got that fold to the point, so when I folded this piece there in half, I want to go right to that point to get that nice and tight in here. I hope that makes sense. So that is a little 12 by 12 dress. And then, as I said, I just... I think they're super cute to use onto a um, onto a canvas or a card or a project like that. The one that started this whole fascination for me. Oh, the other thing I do is just ink them, of course. You know, get a bit of distress ink out, and I just inked up the edges to give it a little bit more interest and give that a little bit of depth. Um, the one, as I said, the one that I started that started me on this journey figuring this out was given to my mum as a birthday card. And it was dressed just like this one, but it was on a fake wire clothes hanger. And then it just hung there with a little card off it saying, happy birthday to you. So if you are clever and just want to make a little wire clothes hanger, then you could hang your dress and it would just be a really sweet um, present. So I've got a few, as you can see, just lying around here. So the little ones are really sweet. The skin is 6x6, six six, 12 by 12 and they are um, yeah they're a bit addictive you might find that you've got more paper dresses than you really know what to do with so if you come up with any cool other ideas of what to do with them please feel free to link them down below it's always great to hear what you guys come up with hope that helps and answers all your questions um yeah hope you're having a fabulous day my loves and i'll see you soon bye for now